Hello everybody, welcome back to PS113, Introduction to Psychology, Chapter 12, Psychological Disorders. In Part 4, the key concepts I want to examine with you include mood disorder, major depressive disorder, and bipolar disorder. Schizophrenia, the third of the big three of the psychological disorders that I outlined earlier, will not be covered at this time. A mood disorder is defined as extreme and unwanted disturbances in emotion or mood. And we have two common subtypes, major depressive disorder and bipolar disorder. Mood disorders, and particularly major depression, is very misunderstood. So before we go any further, let's look at normal sadness. It's one thing to feel sad or down in the dumps with the blues. Most of us have had that experience for a day or so, every now and then, and it's nothing unusual, it's nothing to worry about. We can almost always put our finger on what's making us unhappy, and we know that things will get better eventually with time. But major depression is something else altogether different. We define it as a mood disorder marked by feelings of sadness, despair and hopelessness, as well as a loss of ability to experience pleasure. In addition to sadness, the person might have difficulty concentrating and thinking clearly and becomes hopeless, believing that things will never get any better and what's the use of trying? You cannot imagine a future, let alone a bad future, and there's no light at the end of the tunnel. The person often loses interest in things that normally give him or her pleasure such as family, friends, work, and recreation. They may neglect their appearance, experience difficulties with sleep and appetite, and an especially disturbing complication can be the presence of suicidal thoughts or behaviors. This pattern of thinking, feeling, and behaving is present daily for weeks and months and, if untreated, can persist for a year or two. But treatment is available and treatment is very helpful. The other mood disorder to go over is bipolar disorder, defined as a mood disorder in which manic episodes alternate with periods of depression, usually with relatively normal periods in between. You already know what a major depressive episode looks like, so what is a manic episode? It's defined as a period of excessive euphoria, inflated self-esteem, wild optimism, and hyperactivity, often accompanied by delusions of grandeur and by hostility if you try to block their activity. If you won the Powerball or lottery, you might very well become super excited, what we call euphoria, for a day or so. You might even stay up all night that, that first day, and then you would gradually calm down in, in a couple of days. A person with mania, however, might be running up and down the street in the middle of the night, causing a commotion, disturbing the peace, and having, a, to having to go to jail as if they won a million dollars, but they didn't win anything. There's no reason for that behavior. He or she may suddenly claim to have special talents or abilities in areas that they have no training or experience for, such as running a college, a hospital, or a museum. Where this person often gets in trouble is when well-meaning family or friends try to intervene, sit down with them, and talk some sense into them. The person then may feel very threatened and retaliate with aggression. 
hospitalization may be necessary at that point to prevent the person from causing harm to himself or others because of poor judgment. Here's an example of what a manic episode might look like. Your friend calls you at 3 o'clock in the morning and says he is immediately going to re-roof his house. Now you know he's done no advanced preparations and you know he has no skill or history with carpentry. He's in a very excited mood talking a mile a minute. He says that his mouth can't keep up with his mind, that his mind is going a thousand miles an hour. He's cracking jokes left and right and you learn that he's going down to Lowe's to get the materials and he believes that it shouldn't take longer than an hour or two when he gets back home to complete this job. The last words he says is I'll see you in, a, in our 8 o'clock psychology class. See you then. Later that afternoon you learn that he was arrested for breaking and entering at the home supply store and suffered minor injuries in a scuffle with the police. He was then taken to the hospital and placed on an emergency psychiatric hold. This story would be very consistent with a manic episode. By the way, from what I've described, do you think it's possible to experience a manic episode while under the influence of drugs like speed? Absolutely. This is why, before making a diagnosis of bipolar disorder, mental health professionals first have to rule out that the patient was under the influence of drugs. There are several variants of bipolar disorder, but the classic presentation features depressive and manic episodes, each separated by at least several years of normal functioning. Treatment for bipolar disorder like major depression is available and is useful. We've covered two of the big three of major psychological disorders and this concludes our chapter 12 video lectures. See you soon. Bye-bye.